Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Tech Talk with me, R&D Lee. Alright, today we're doing how to replace a drive wheel on an H-series board. So once again, people who aren't familiar with our lines, um, H-series is hub motor series, B-series belt drive series. So if you haven't seen uh, the Tech Talk on the belt drive series and that's what you got, you can go and watch that, that's on our channel. Make sure you subscribe, by the way, so you can kind of keep up to date with all those ones. Um, but today we are talking about the H-Series. So you see your hub motor right here, and we're going to tell you how to replace the, the drive wheel. So it, it, not really a common thing to do. We use a super duper uh, durable high rebound urethane. So, you know, the odds of you need a replacement are pretty low, but, you know, maybe over time you would need to. But just to kind of give you a quick kind of fast forward of the project here, um, on the hub motor there are one, two, three, four, five, six uh, screws that attach the stator to the rotor. Okay, so we're going to take all those screws out and then the, uh, the rotor just basically pops off at that point. Okay, so you'll see on, on our rotors we actually bond our urethane directly to the rotor. Um, so that means that you have to replace the whole rotor when you do replace your, your drive wheel. That's the disadvantage. The, it, the advantage is that um, on, on people that don't do that, you'll often see urethane slipping, coming off, and we just, we, we don't want anything like that, so we've just decided to, we, we mold the two together so it's just a, a surefire, uh, bulletproof uh, connection there. Okay, so basically doing that on your board, um, that was just an example there. But on your board, it's basically these screws right here, okay? And the tool that you need to do it is a, a T20 Torx wrench. Okay, we fast forwarded a little bit of that because it is a little bit tedious. It's an easy process, but it's kind of a long process. So you can see I have all five, um, or f five of the screws out, and I'm just finishing off this last one. Okay, at that point. Okay, so those are there. Now once you have that off, it's actually quite an easy step, is just to basically push the rotor off. Okay, so um, that's the rotor, all right, and here inside here is the uh, stator, so that's once again the part that stays stationary. This is the bit that you're going to be replacing, all right, so uh, if you have a new one, you're going to pop that guy on. You're probably not going to be buying a red color, but just in case you are, it would go on there. Um, and then at that point, you are actually got to line up your holes, okay? So when it goes on, you got to make sure, sorry, um, then you go and twist this little guy until you get to the point where your holes are lined up, okay? And if you get it to where it's like really, mine are lined up pretty well right now, but if you get it to the point where it's, um, it's not lining up and you can't twist it, then go ahead and take it off again. And as you pop it on, make sure you're at least close to the holes lining up, okay? So right now, I'm kind of visualizing it there before it actually goes on completely you can line them up because actually once you do press it in there really good the urethane actually grips the, the outer ring of the, of the stator and um, then it's kind of harder to twist so right now my, my holes are lined up and you just go back and, and put them all in now that like I said is, is a more of a tedious thing there's nothing technical about that so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that to, uh, to you guys, all right? So basically, I got one in. Make sure you do these guys up nice and tight. That's about the only other tech tip to say, uh, is to get a nice, these are Torx wrenches, so you can go pretty hard on them. You don't wanna strip them, obviously, but um, get a nice, tight, yeah. And then do the same thing for the other six, okay? Apart from that, like I said, I'll leave that to you guys. Um, if you got any questions, it's a pretty straightforward process. It does take a lot of time, it is tedious, but if you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the new tech talks coming out, um, hopefully daily, weekly, something. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. I'm r and Lee. Thanks for watching.